Hello, welcome to this session of Yoga for Vitality. My name is Sarah Finger. Just as we like to clean our closets and go through old things that are no longer serving us in the spring, it's also an auspicious time this time of year to cleanse our internal space, to look at maybe what we've been holding onto, whether it's certain foods, certain thoughts, certain beliefs, circumstances in our lives that we might have held on to over time that are no longer serving us. So today we're going to do a practice to help facilitate our digestive process. So twisting is an excellent way to help stimulate the digestive organs and help move things along. And also mild backbends, which help to uplift our energy field and help to create space in the body so that we can awaken and open up to new ways of being. We're, we'll finish off with a little meditation on letting go. So for this practice, you'll need two blocks. If you have blocks, if not a couple of thick books will do. And also a firm blank, uh, sorry, cushion or a pillow. If you have one laying around, have that handy as well. All right, and we're going to get started in a cross-legged seat. So come to sit comfortably, either on your blanket, on a cushion, or on your mat. Let your hands rest onto the tops of the thighs and let your spine naturally lengthen up tall. So feel your sitting bones evenly rooted into the floor. We're going to begin with a purification technique, what's known as a Sat Kriya. And this one is called Kabbalabhati. Kabbalabhati is an excellent way to help rid the lungs of stale oxygen, to oxygenate the bloodstream, to help free up some mucus that might have created stagnation in your body. So what it involves is a forced exhalation and the inhale will happen naturally. So it's sort of like you're blowing a candle out through your nostrils. It looks like this. Okay, so notice I'm not forcing the inhale, it's just impulsively happening as a rebound effect. You can do this either by placing your hands to your low belly to help pump the belly in, or if you've practiced this before, you might feel comfortable taking your arms wide in a V position, fingertips to the pads of the hands and thumbs extend wide. So whichever option you're taking, let's all begin by closing the eyes. Take a couple of moments. Just feel the breath naturally rise and fall in your body without strain. The mechanism of the breath is naturally purifying as you breathe in, you take in oxygen, prana, life force energy. And as you exhale, you expel out gases, carbon dioxide, that which you don't need. So feel that natural expansion that you're drawing in, taking in nourishment life force energy as you breathe in and as you breathe out sense that you expel out and let go of what's not serving you absorb what you do need and release out what you don't need now setting up for kabbalah bhakti you can either bring your hands to your low belly or extend your arms wide in a v We'll all start by taking a full breath in. Exhale all the way. Go to the bottom of your exhalation. Now breathe in part way and begin short, sharp exhalations through the belly. Forcing the exhale, pumping, 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 pumping. Start 
Start to slow it down. Exhale, exhale, exhale. Take a slow breath in. And a deep breath out. Let all the air out. Just notice how you feel. You can keep your hands to your belly. Just float them down alongside you. Taking a deep breath in now, stretch the arms up overhead. As you exhale, take a gentle twist to your right. Left arm in front of you, right arm behind you, propping up onto your fingertips. Keep your spine nice and tall. Lengthen up through your spine as you breathe in. And gently rotate around the axis of your spine as you breathe out. Try not to force with your head or your neck, but see if you can connect to the breath and let the twist happen from the middle of your spine. Let the rest of your body follow. Inhale, stretch the arms back up. Exhale, twist to your left. Right arm in front, left arm behind you. <clears throat> Prop up, propping up onto your fingertips. See if you can visualize this line of energy from the top of your head to the base of the spine. Feel that line grow long as you breathe in and sense as you breathe out that you rotate around that axis, that line of your spine. One more smooth breath in and a gentle breath out. Keep your spine nice and tall, shoulders on your back, away from the ears. And then inhale, stretch the arms up overhead. Bring your palms to touch at the top, and as you exhale, lower your hands down the midline of your body. It's auspicious in the beginning of class to either set an intention for yourself or express gratitude for someone or something. Just honoring here the power you have to change, to transform. Fire, heat gives us the ability to shift alchemize, to let go of what we don't need, and open up to our fullest potential. Let's let the chin drop down towards the chest, float the hands down, float your eyes open gently. Let's come on up to the hands and knees in cat pose. Take your wrists under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, fingers spread comfortably wide. Breathing in, curl your toes, reach your heart forward. Face looks up, sit bones lift. On your exhalation, press the tops, the feet into the floor, rounding your spine, letting your head go. Inhale, arch the upper back. Face looks up, sit bones lift. Keep the back of your neck long here. On the exhalation, press the tops, the feet into the floor, and round your spine, letting all the air out. Do this a couple of times on your own. Again, feeling on the in-breath that you open up to a renewed source of energy. And as you breathe out, you let go, letting all the air out to create more space for your next breath in. Opening up on your in-breath. Connect to this line from the top of your head to the base of the spine. Exhale, put the belly button up, letting your head go. Come back now into a neutral position with your spine. Walk your hands about an inch forward of your shoulders. Curl your toes into the floor as you breathe in. As you breathe out, begin to reach your hips up and back. Coming into downward facing dog. So the fingers spread nice and wide here. Like you're pushing the mat forward, press your hands firmly into the mat. You can always keep a slight bend through the knee, especially if you need to create more space through your spine. And when we have more space in the spine, we have more freedom to breathe, to take in what we need, 
Let go of what we don't need. Working efficiently here. Now on your next breath in, come forward into plank pose. Take your shoulders over your wrists. Gaze slightly forward to the front edge of your mat. Now go ahead and drop your knees down without changing the position of your pelvis. Keep your gaze slightly forward to the front edge of your mat. Low belly's engaged. On your exhalation, bend your elbows straight back and in one unit, come all the way down to the floor, onto your belly. Press back through your toes now and as you breathe in, peel your chest, your neck, your head up off the floor. Keep the back of your neck long. No tension in your head or your neck, but keep that activity in your legs, pressing all 10 toenails down into the floor. Now on your exhalation, release your head down, curl your toes, press back up onto hands and knees, and then lift your hips slowly up and back. Now we're facing dog. Just take a peek at your feet. Make sure you can't see your heels, that they're hidden behind the widest part of the feet. Make sure that your fingers are spread nice and wide. You can always turn them out a little bit if your shoulders are tight. Look up on your in-breath. On your exhale, walk, step or jump your feet to meet your hands. Keep your feet about a fist or two fist distances apart. Slight bend through the knees. And grab hold of opposite elbow with your hands, hanging here in ragdoll, let the back of your head release. And notice what it feels like to really let your head go. Shake it out a little bit from side to side, gently. Switch the crossing of your arms. The opposite arm is on top. Now take a deep breath in through your nose. Open up your mouth and exhale. The exhalation again facilitates letting go, freeing up, open up your tongue even so you release the toxins in your mouth. Keep the knees soft here. And with the knees soft, begin to walk your hands up the fronts of your legs so your head is the last to come up. Stack your knees over your ankles, your pelvis, over your knees, bring your shoulders directly over your pelvis, and let your arms float down alongside the body. So take a few moments here. You can bring your feet about a fist or two fist distances apart, sensing that you could suction the energy of the earth up through the soles of your feet, your palms facing forward, head and neck easeful, floating on the tip of the spine. What is what you're bringing into this pose that maybe you don't need right now? Maybe it's a thought, maybe it's a muscular engagement, maybe it's a limited belief, whatever it is. Let me just be in this pose and feel your breath freely. I'm gonna move on the breath from here. So at the top of your mat, take a breath in and reach your arms out and up overhead. Palms touch a little bit in front of you. As you exhale, dive forward over your legs. Take a slight bend through your knees. Release your head down. Inhale your hands to your shin bones. Lengthen your spine. Gaze a little bit forward. Exhale, soften your knees and fold again over the legs. Breathing and stretch your arms out and all the way up. See your palms touching at the top. As you exhale, take your hands down the midline of your body, standing tall. We'll do that again. Circle the arms down, around and up. Breathing in through the nostrils. Exhale, forward bend. Hinge from your hips. Slight bend through your knees, especially if your hamstrings are tight. Inhale, bring your hands to your shin bones. Lengthen your spine, gaze a little bit forward here. On your exhalation, fold right back over the legs. Let your head go. Breathing in, sweep the arms out, around and up, rising up through a flat back. Palms touch. Exhale your hands down the midline of your body, standing tall, Tadasana. 
adding on, stretch the arms out and up. Same thing, breathe in through the nostrils, receive here. On your exhale, fold forward and let all the air out. On your inhalation, bring your hands to your shin bones, lengthen your spine, gaze a little bit forward. On your exhalation, bend the knees, take your hands to the blocks and step your left foot way back to low lunge. Track the right knee right up your ankle. Press your back heel back, center of the chest forward. Take your right hand to your sacrum, that flat part of your low back. Take a nice smooth inhale, roll along through your spine. As you exhale, begin to rotate your right rib cage on top of your left rib cage. Breathing into lengthen. Exhale, rotating. Try not to sink in your left shoulder or yank with your head, but again, let the twist come from the breath. If your shoulder stack, you can extend the right arm up. So keep this back thigh strong as you reach up through the right fingertips. Maybe even gaze up to the right arm. On your next exhalation, lower the right arm down. Now take your blocks to the side of the mat. Hands towards the floor and step your right foot back to plank pose. Fingers spread wide, gaze a little forward. You can keep the knees lifted or lower them down. As you exhale, chaturanga, lowering all the way down to the floor. Press back through your toes. You can either come back to baby cobra here, lifting the chest, neck, head, or slide your hands back a couple of inches for upward facing dog. In up dog, we press the hands down, we lift the tops of the thighs, and press the shoulder blades away from the ears. So lots of strength in your upper body and lifting the inner thighs. Curl your toes under, and on your exhalation, press back to downward facing dog. Adjust your hands, adjust your feet. Take a big breath in here, and slow breath out. On your inhalation, rise up off your heels, gaze forward. Exhale, you can either walk, step or jump your feet to meet your hands. Take your hands to your shin bones and lengthen your spine. Exhale, soften your knees and fold forward. Breathing in, arms stretch out and up. Rise all the way up, palms touch. Exhale, your hands down the midline of your body, standing tall with awareness. Same thing on the other side. Arms stretch out and up with the breath. Breathe in through the nostrils. Feel your ribs expand. On your exhalation, fold forward. All the way down to the bottom of your exhalation. Inhale. Hands to your shin bones. Gaze a little forward, lengthening your spine. Bend the knees. Take your hands to the blocks now. And the right foot steps way back. Low lunge. Again, track the left knee right over your ankle and keep this back right thigh strong. Right hand to the block or on your books. Left hand to your sacrum. Inhale, lengthens your spine. And as you exhale, begin to rotate left ribs on top of the right ribs. And just continue to lengthen and rotate with your breath. Notice if you're forcing your way into the twist. That's only going to leave you aggravated. And so you want to come out of this feeling balanced, centered, and clear. Eventually, maybe the left arm comes up, but if it causes distress in your shoulders, keep your hand to your sacrum. Breathing in as you breathe out, lower your hands down. Take your blocks to the side of the mat. Step the left foot back to plank or modified plank, gaze forward. Exhale, take your choice of chaturanga. You can either lower half or all the way down. So I'll show the modification, breathing in either to upward facing dog or stay with baby cobra. On your exhalation, press slowly back to downward facing dog. Heels behind the widest part of the feet. All 10 fingers spread nice and wide. 
Relax your head, soften your jaw. Just notice if you're holding tension anywhere in the body, that's not serving you. Then rise up on your in-breath, gaze forward. Exhale, walk, step or jump your feet to meet your hands. Breathing in, grow long. Breathing out, forward bend. Inhale the arms out and up, rising up through a flat back. Palms touch at the top and exhale your hands to your heart center, standing tall. Floating your arms down alongside the body. Walk the inner edges of your feet to touch. If that's too much, you can always keep a little space between the feet, but this pose is a little easier with your feet closer and towards one another. Now we'll bend the knees and reach the seat back like you're sitting back in a little chair. Stretch your arms up overhead. As you exhale, take your right hand to your sacrum. Again, that flat part of your low back, left arm across to the outer right thigh. So a version of twisting chair. Make sure that left knee doesn't poke forward. It tends to want to poke forward. So keep the knees aligned here. This might be a good place for you to stay. Stay where you can breathe and sustain. Some of you might be able to bend a little deeper, hook your left upper arm to the outer right thigh and bring your right palm to press on top of it. Lift your heart away from your uh, prayer, from the hands, and then rotate a little bit around, again, the axis of your spine. Lengthen as you inhale, make sure the knees stay aligned. And rotating on the exhale. Good. As you inhale, come back to center. As you exhale, come on up to stand. Just take a breath. Float the arms down. I'm going to turn so you can see me on the other side. You stay right where you are. Bending the knees. We'll switch sides. Reach your seat back. Take your left hand to your sacrum. Right hand to the outer left thigh. And again, you'll stay here. Even if you have any lower back injuries, certainly if you're pregnant, you're not going to twist. You're gonna keep lots of space. You're more open twist, if anything. Stay here or bend a little deeper. Hook your right upper arm to the outer left thigh, left palm to press on top. So bring your prayer, press your hands together so that you use your hands as leverage now to deepen the rotation. Allow your breath to move up into your chest cavity. Diaphragm's a little restricted here. We have to go where we feel spaciousness in the body. Keep space across your heart, your collarbones. Feel that baby cobra action in your heart, your chest. And then inhale, come back to center. And exhale, lower your hands down. Float your hands down alongside your body. Come back to the top of your mat. Breathing and stretch the arms up overhead. Breathing out, forward bend over your legs. Okay, so now we're going to take the feet wide. As wide as the mat. So the toes point out a little and the heels draw in a little. You might need a block or two blocks for this. We're going to come into Malasana, a squatting position. So you drop your tailbone down, sit up nice and tall, bring your elbows to your inner thighs and your palms to touch. So this is an excellent pose to help the downward energy, what's known as apana, to release to continue that natural movement downward towards the earth. And that is the energy of elimination, right? Of letting things sort of release out of us. So take a few breaths here. If you want to close your eyes, you can close your eyes. If you want to take a few more rounds of that Kabbalah Bhati shining skull, you can do that here. Start to slow it down, breathing in all the way. As you exhale, open up your mouth and stick out your tongue. It's a nice, pretty, graceful lion's breath. 
Good, do that one more time. Big breath in through your nose. Open up your mouth. And then take your hands to the floor. Shift your weight to your feet. Begin to lift your hips up. Toe heel your feet back in. You can take your blocks to the side of your mat. Hands to the floor. Bend the knees. Step your left and your right foot back behind you. Come back into your downward facing dog. As you next breathe in, once again, come forward into plank or you can take a modified plank, whatever is available for you to sustain. Keeping your gaze forward towards the front edge of your mat, keep the spine nice and long here. And on your next exhalation, take a slow chaturanga all the way down to the mat in one unit onto your belly. Press back through your toes. Once again, lifting your chest, neck, head. This time, stretch back through your toes and lift your legs up off the floor. Salavasana, flying locust. You can stay here or extend your arms alongside the body. Now feel like you're lifting from the strength of the muscles along your spine, not from the buttocks. Lift from the hamstring muscles and the muscles along your spine. Back to the next phase, long. Breathing in and as you breathe out, lower your whole torso, head, arms down, and place your cheek to one side. Just wag your tail a little from side to side. Releasing your low back. And then place your cheek to the other side. Coming back to center. We'll start the same way. Palms face down. Begin to lift your head, your neck, your chest. Stretch back through your toes. Lift your legs. And lift your hands up off the mat. Maybe you stay here. This might be a good place for you to sustain. Or if you don't have any low back or knee issues, you'll bend your legs, press back through the shins, and begin to lift your head and chest up off the floor. Now feel if you can lift the insides of your thighs, your inner thighs up towards the ceiling. That will help you to create space in your low back. One more smooth inhale, exhale, gently lower down, release your legs, press back up onto hands and knees, bring your knees wide, your big toes to touch, and sit back onto your heels. Just make a little pillow out of your hands, rest your forehead on your hands or on a block. Quiet, getting still, allow the tops of the shoulders to soften. Notice again, if there's anything you're harboring, just become aware, and your awareness in itself will create a change. Now we'll come back up onto hands and knees and cat pose. If you have any sensitivity in your knees, slide a blanket underneath your knees. We're going to come into another twist here. We'll go step by step with it. Starting with the right foot, you'll step your right foot up in between your hands. Take your hands to your front thigh and lift your belly up off your thigh. With the right hand to the right thigh, inhale, lift the left arm up by the left ear. Roll along through your side body. And as you exhale, begin to hook your left upper arm to the outer right thigh. Now lift your breastbone away from your left hand. So make space in your chest and take your right palm to press on top of the left. Same thing here like we did in the chair. Bring your prayer towards the center of your chest. Lift your chest up. Feel that little back bend action in your upper body. Maybe you rotate a little bit more. But just find that place, again, where you can breathe and feel something happening. Some of you might be able to 
pour the weight into the right foot, curl the back toes under, and lift the back knee up off the floor. Lifting your breastbone. Some of you may stay here. Some of you might take your whole left arm down, your whole right arm up. Lots of options because everybody is different. Every body is different. So really honoring your needs here. We'll all eventually lower the hands down, drop the back knee down to the floor, and step your right foot back to meet your left foot. You can either rest back in child's pose, or you can press back to downward facing dog. If you would like a little more movement, you can move through the vinyasa, coming into plank, taking your choice of chaturanga or modified chaturanga, either up dog or baby cobra. And we all meet back in downward facing dog. Again, switch sides for you. So from downward facing dog, drop your knees down onto the mat. Step your left foot up in between your hands. Help it up if you need to. If it doesn't make it on the first shot, you can always use your hand to help. Come on up into an upright position, a kneeling position. Left hand to the left thigh. Right arm reaches up. Grow along through your right side body. As you exhale, begin to hook your right upper arm now to the outer left thigh. Lift your chest away from your right hand and bring your left palm to press on top of the right. Use your prayer, this position of your hands, to create a lever for your torso to deeply rotate. And again, find where you can breathe. You might stay here. You might pour your weight into your left foot, looking down at your left foot. Begin to lift your back thigh up strong. Continuing the rotation here. You can stay here or take your whole right arm down, your whole left arm up. And then wherever you are, lower your hands down to frame your front foot. Drop the back knee down. Slide the left foot back. Either child's pose to rest. Down dog. If you'd like to stretch and release the backs of the legs a little. Or again, you might choose to add a little more heat and movement by adding the vinyasa. Plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog or baby cobra. Back to downward facing dog. Wherever you are, drop your knees down onto the mat. Let's swing the legs around in front. And stretch the legs out in front of you. Bringing the soles of your feet together, take your knees wide apart. Adjust your seat a little bit here. If you need to sit up on a cushion or pillow, right? You can sit up on your cushion. We're gonna use it in just a moment, but that might help you get a little more length and lift here. Bring your fingertips back behind you at first, lengthening your spine as you breathe in, and then gently hinge at your hips as you breathe out. want to close your eyes here. Feeling that process of lifting, lengthening, opening up on your inhale, and deepening, releasing, letting go on your exhale. If you have the range and you can walk your hands forward without rounding your spine, Play with that. Just keep very conscious of your alignment and your breath and your body, not rushing at all. There's nowhere to get. Sometimes we hoard, we cling, we attach because we think we need something more than what and who we already are. This is a process of peeling away 
those aspects, those attachments and identities that we take on, keep us from seeing our true nature. Slowly come back up. Gather your knees in towards one another. Scoop forward to the front edge of your mind. Now you can take this bolster, place it behind you, and just create, it's going to create just a little bit of a back bend, a little lift. If you want to, you can bring the soles of your feet together, your knees wide apart, and slide a block underneath each thigh. If you don't have a block, slide a cushion or a pillow underneath each thigh, but I would just make sure that the thighs are supported here. And then recline back. If you feel your hips are already Feeling enough, you can just let your legs straighten out in front of you and not take the bound angular position. Palms facing up, closing your eyes. Feeling the weight of your body dropping down into the support of the earth. Bring your awareness now to the base of your spine. Visualize here your thoughts circumstances that you might be holding on to, either consciously or unconsciously. As you happen to breathe in, feel that you draw that awareness up, line of your spine to the very crown of your head. And as you exhale, just let it out through the crown of your head like a bubble. Breathing in, draw the awareness from your base up to the crown of your head. As you exhale, let it go through the crown of your head. Breathing in, you can add the sound sucked for purification. Breathing out. Yum. For emotional stability. Sucked. As you breathe in, base to crown. Yum. As you breathe out, letting it go through the crown. You breathe in. Yum. Releasing out as you breathe out. Soft. Yum. Feeling yourself now like a vessel, a clear, open channel. Allow the energy, the intelligence, and the inspiration of the universe to move through you. Wiggle the 
fingers, wiggle the toes. If your knees are wide, gently draw the knees back in and stretch your legs out in front of you. Reach your arms up overhead and take one side longer than the other. Stretch the other side longer. And then bend both knees and roll over gently to your right side. You can either come off or rest on the cushion in fetal position. And in your own time, make your way up to a comfortable cross-legged seat. Sitting up nice and tall. Join your palms to touch at the center of your chest. Bow your head down. Feeling the sense of quiet, spaciousness, and pure potential that lies within you. Thank you so much for joining me today.